Today we are continuing with 19 ways to pray. Um, last video I shared with you that I'm challenging you um, to spend time every day in prayer, um, to commit to a specific amount of minutes, um, a specific place, um, a specific way of praying. And part of that is um, me sharing with you more ways of praying that maybe some ways that you haven't thought of. And, and so we're going to jump into that today. And the first way I'm sure you have thought of, um, the first way to pray is familiar Catholic prayers. So we are really blessed as Catholics to have a lot of familiar prayers. And we have the Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Glory Me, we have the St. Michael prayer, the um, Guardian Angel prayer. And we have rosaries, we have novenas, we have prayers to Mary and the saints, we have the Divine Mercy Chaplet, we have the Stations of the Cross. Um, we are really blessed as Catholics. We've been given these prayers from people that have come before us, and from saints that have come before us. And even in Jesus himself, you know, gave us a prayer, um, the Our Father, um, the Hail Mary. A lot of that prayer is directly from the Bible itself. And um, so... Um, these prayers are part of our tradition, and they're part of what our parents gave us, our grandparents gave us. Um, it's a great blessing to know these prayers because you can memorize them, and you can take them with you wherever you go because you have them in your mind and in your heart. And traditional Catholic prayers, familiar Catholic prayers, um, have great potential um, to lead us into the presence of God and with our minds and with our hearts. And, you know, at the same time, um, it's important um, to, to not just say them um, with our minds or to not just say them without thinking. Um, it's important that we connect with these prayers um, emotionally, intellectually, um, with our mind, with our heart. Um, even our body can help us to express these prayers. And to not just say the words. Um, but to connect the words with what's happening in our hearts. Um, St. Teresa of Avila had this famous quote where she said, if a person does not think of whom he is addressing and what he is asking for and who it is that is asking and, and, of, and of whom he is asking it, I do not consider that he is praying at all, even though he be constantly moving his lips. So one of the temptations with Catholic prayers, with traditional prayers, with familiar prayers, is that they become too familiar. And so um, we're praying them, um, but we're not, we're not praying. We're just saying words out loud. So we need to think about who we're saying the words to, um, what we're asking for, um, you know, what we're, who we are seeking, and um, we need to engage um, our minds and our hearts. And who we are seeking is God himself. And we don't want to just be saying words. Um, we want to be engaged. Um, St. Bonaventure also said, when we pray, um, the voice of the heart must be heard more than that proceeding from the mouth. So as we engage in familiar Catholic prayers, as we engage in the rosary, for instance, um, before we start, we can ask God, um, God, help me um, to engage with my mind, with my heart, with my body. Help me to engage with my entire self um, as I pray these prayers. And because I don't just want to say them. I want them to lead me um, closer to you. I want to, them to lead me into your presence. And praying a, a simple prayer like that um, can make a big difference um, as we tap into um, the, the wonderful gift that we've been given in our Catholic tradition um, through familiar Catholic prayers.